My name is Janaya Sims. I am a third year medical student at Morehouse School of Medicine, and I am currently living with lupus. Being diagnosed with lupus at the age of 12 was a life-altering event for both me and my family. It was a time filled with confusion, fear, and a lot of learning. When I first started experiencing symptoms such as fatigue, joint pain, and mysterious rashes, none of us had an idea of what was wrong. After numerous visits to local doctors without any definitive answers, we were referred to specialists in Augusta, four hours away from our home in Tifton, Georgia. The long journey for a diagnosis was exhausting and filled with uncertainty. To minimize my symptoms, I've incorporated a few self-management strategies from resources offered by the ACR's Lupus Self-Management Guide, like exercising, eating right, and implementing stress management techniques. I've made a few lifestyle adjustments, including eliminating pork from my diet and embracing regular exercise, which have undoubtedly played a pivotal role in managing my condition. My family has been my greatest pillar of strength. It's not just emotional support. They help with meds, chores, and keeping me healthy. Their understanding and sacrifices have ensured that I never feel alone in my struggle. Also, I've received great support from my classmates, professors, and mentors, which has significantly impacted my professional journey, shaping my aspirations and approach to medicine. All of the support I, that I have received has sparked my passion for lupus advocacy. I share my st story and join events like the Lupus Walk in Atlanta to spread awareness. It's about creating a more equitable system for everyone living with lupus, especially in the underserved areas like my hometown of Tiffin. My family and close friends have been a constant source of emotional support. They've been great at providing a safe space for me to express my feelings, offer encouragement, and help me stay positive during difficult times. Also, joining support groups for people with rheumatic conditions has been invaluable. Sharing experiences with others who understand what I'm going through helps reduce feelings of isolation and provides practical advice and emotional comfort. I have also found that regular sessions with my therapist have helped me navigate the complex emotions associated with chronic illness. Therapy has provided tools for managing stress, anxiety, depression, and has helped me develop healthier coping strategies. Effective communication with my healthcare team has been vital in managing my condition and ensuring I receive the best possible care from working with my pediatric and adult rheumatologist to my study nurse. I take charge of my healthcare by being open with my healthcare team asking questions, and keeping a health journal. For advice or encouragement that I would have for others living with rheumatic diseases is the following. You are not alone. Remember that you are not alone in the journey. Many others understand what you're going through and there's a strong community ready to support you. Surround yourself with people who understand and support you. This can include family, friends, support groups, and healthcare professionals. Keep an open line of communication with your doctors and loved ones. Don't hesitate to express how you're feeling or to ask for help when you need it. Listen to your body and take care of yourself. I found really good resources with ACR on self-management, which focuses on getting enough rest, eating a balanced diet, managing stress, and staying active within your limits. Every day is an opportunity to find joy and hope, even in the smallest moments. Thank you.